the mirror's reflection. The wind howled like a banshee as the Harper family arrived at the sprawling estate left to them by a distant relative. Weston Harper, a retired professor, couldn't ignore the thrill of discovery. He and his wife, Evelyn, brought their two children, Sarah and Max, eager to explore their new home. Clad in a silver storm, the estate stood like a sentinel on the edge of the town of Eldridge. It appeared to be a relic from a long-forgotten era, its crumbling walls whispering tales of decay. The first few days passed in excited chaos. The family scavenged through the estate, discovering dusty tomes, rusted chandeliers, and other remnants of a bygone era. On one particularly rainy afternoon, while rummaging through the attic, Sarah unearthed an ornate antique mirror. The frame was intricately carved with gnarled vines and twisted faces that seemed almost alive, their mouths frozen in silent screams. Look what I found! Sarah exclaimed, beaming proudly. Don't touch that! It looks cursed! Max teased, staring at the old glass with a mixture of fear and curiosity. But Sarah was drawn to it. The mirror shimmered with an otherworldly allure. Ignoring Max's warnings, she wiped the dust away, revealing a polished surface that reflected not just herself, but the attic around them. On impulse, they dragged the mirror downstairs into the parlor, where the light was better. Evelyn placed it against the wall, and the moment the mirror was up, an uncomfortable shiver ran through the room. It was as if they had invited something dark into their home. Still, the family dismissed the unease as they settled into their new lives. Days turned into weeks, and the mirror became an undeniable part of their daily routines. They would catch glimpses of themselves every morning, their reflections providing a mundane sameness to their lives. Yet the mirror had a different agenda. It began to reveal their secret fears and hidden dread. One evening, Weston stood before it, weary after a long day of unpacking. Suddenly, the reflection distorted. Instead of his own weary eyes, he saw a man who appeared older, with hollow cheeks and wild, frantic eyes that flickered with anger. It didn't just reflect his image. It reflected his mounting frustrations, the resentment that simmered beneath his calm exterior. He gasped, recoiling as the mirror seemed to smirk, taunting him with his suppressed rage. Later that night, as the family gathered in the living room, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. She turned to the mirror, her heart dropping as she noticed a shadowy figure standing behind her, a grotesque version of herself, with wild hair and a twisted grin. It wasn't merely the reflection, but a manifestation of her insecurities and anxieties about fitting in at her new school. In that moment, the reflection whispered her deepest fears, that she was an outcast, unloved, unworthy. Dad, come look at this, she shouted her voice trembling. Weston would be able to explain, she thought. But when he rushed in, eyes wide with concern, the mirror showed nothing but the ordinary. What are you talking about, Sarah? He asked, frowning. I saw it. I saw... me, she stammered, pointing at the glass desperately. Nothing's there, sweetheart, he assured her. And yet the unease settled into the pit of his stomach. Moments later, Sarah fled, sobs echoing down the hall as she retreated to her room. Days passed, and the influence of the mirror grew stronger. Max began spending hours in front of it, fascinated by a malicious reflection that sneered back. It reflected his hidden desire for power and control, a side of him that craved dominance over everyone around him, a permanence that made him feel alive. The mirror showed him that he could be someone great, a tyrant if it meant reclaiming the childhood he felt he lost. But it wasn't until Evelyn stood alone before the mirror, substantially affected by the fracture in her family, that the true horror unfolded. As she gazed into its depths, she saw herself aged, the room around her darkened and barren. It devoured her essence, feeding off her insecurities as a mother, wife, and individual. She felt an agonizing throb of despair, her reflection clawing at the surface as it twisted into a horrifying visage, begging for release from the relentless chaos of life. Stop it! Just stop! She cried out, pulled between her image and her own free will. The mirror shuddered, the glass rippling like water disturbed, 
sending shockwaves through the room. Evelyn stumbled back, gazing at her family, realizing they were all entangled in this sinister web. This wasn't just a reflection. It was a portal into their souls, a vortex of their hidden darkness. Realizing this power, they tried to ignore the mirror, to turn their backs on it, yet it only grew louder, whispering temptations, coaxing them to face their demons. Each member of the family succumbed to its call in different ways. The following night, a thunderstorm raged as the four gathered in the parlor, voices low and tense. Each of them had realized the mirror was the cause of their unraveling, and yet none knew how to confront what lay within it. We can't let this thing take us. We need to fight back, Weston declared, his determination a thin shield against the fear that gripped him. But it was too late. The mirror began to glow, pulsing with a malevolence that knocked them to their feet. Figures emerged from the glass, each one a dark reflection, an embodiment of their fears ready to claim their souls. Face me, cried the scene Sarah, her reflection mocking her as it stepped through the veil, a monster born of her own self-loathing. The family stumbled backward, but they knew the only way forward was through the mirror. They grouped together, holding hands, channeling their fears and facing the mirrored versions of themselves. The darkness that had once enveloped them began to recede as they shouted their truths, their pain echoing through the parlor, washing over the room. In a burst of vivid light, the mirror shattered, the shards reflecting fragments of their realities, a kaleidoscope of who they were and who they could be. The darkness dissipated, revealing a renewed sense of self as they embraced their imperfections and insecurities. The mirror lay in pieces, a shattered doorway to their darkest dreams and nightmares. They had faced the shadows lurking within. The family remained battered but unbroken. As the storm subsided, so did the haunted echoes of their fears. They had survived the onslaught of their reflections, heralding a new beginning, one where they could at last confront their reality together, unshackled from the weight of the past. In time, they would learn that embracing their shadows could lead to healing. The antique, like many heirlooms, was a reminder. Perspectives could be both haunting and enlightening, serving as a catalyst for growth instead of destruction. The Harper family left the estate behind, but the memory of their battle would stay with them, a testament to the mirroring power of introspection. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.